What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, everybody. We're back again. By the intro alone, you should know who I am, but if you don't, man, I ain't gonna tell you. Figure it out for yourself. Hit the rewind button. Or look down there, it says the screen name. Or my channel name. I'm here today to talk about a uh, quote unquote sensitive topic again. I'm going to talk about the hoopla in Ferguson. Now, the situation in Ferguson is just another reminder to how, like, the black folks love a parade. You love a third line, I think, a second line, third, I think that's what they call New Orleans, so like, correct me on that one. This is another series in the black community of tragic events that all you people love to do is march, shuffle your feet. Say your slogans, get your donations, you cry and whine, and do nothing. All of a sudden, a young man has dead in the street. I don't know the circumstances, so I can't comment on the circumstances of how it happened. That's the legal, that's the legal justice system's the way it work, it'll work out. At that. Once the facts are proven, this, that, and the third, that's you got to roll with. Whether it's justice or not, and then I know how this country works. Don't get, don't get me twisted. I know how this country works. But the problem with the black community is, and I, when I say it, I mean as a whole, I don't just, I mean, I'm gonna include myself too, FYI, so. But it, every every five or six years, events like this happen. Trayvon Martin, before that, and then he had the Sean Bell, he had all, he had all these tragic events where a young person has died at the hands of, you know, and gained national attention. And they gained national attention, you wonder why, because when you watch the news sometimes, like when you watch your news, let me adjust this real quick. There we go. All right, right about there. When you watch, when you watch your news, watch how they they, they say a white so and so versus a black so and so, or a Hispanic so and so versus a white so and so, or a black so and so versus. Watch the news. The news does this. The news the news will create this tension and strife. And what they do is the news they get their little they get their little. Sock puppets, Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, per se. They get them to go down there like Jesse Jackson got booed in Ferguson. Why do you think he got booed in Ferguson? Because people are sick of like, and, and look, look at Al Sharpton. Everybody knows his history. Now, now, this is another thing. I'm not saying the dude's a bad dude, but the dude is, these dudes are vultures now. And they're, to, they're to the point now, they're, they're, they're vultures in the black community. I look over because some of these dudes are like, you know. Half of them want to do something. They want to go out and play football. I'm like, I ain't playing football. Go out. Just lock the door. But uh, anyway, back to the top of your hand before I was really interrupted. But uh, it, it, we have these tragedies every five or six years. Nothing changes. We do all the we shall overcome. We'll march to Selma, cross the bridge. And, and then what happens? The smoke clears. A family has lost a loved one, and nobody cares about that. Well, I'm getting sick and tired of that. And people ask me, well, why weren't you in Ferguson? Look, jack -offs. I had a chance to go to Ferguson through, through people who I won't mention. But at the same time, I couldn't do that. Because there was a situation in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, back where I, the area I grew up, where a young man who was in a... And people in Pittsburgh know I'm talking about this situation. I don't know the in-depth stories because I, I, I haven't been back there in a minute, but there's a situation back there where a young man, he wasn't in the streets, I guess. I guess he was just, I guess he was dressed up. But like, he was a, he was an honor student, I guess. I guess he was in a band. I guess they put one on the police, you know. They, they give me old, old raccoon eyes. Now, if you, and let me explain something. If you in the streets, that's, that just comes with the territory. If you, you know, it is. And like this is this is some things that it is. I mean, in certain cities, that's how it was. If if, if if they give you the raccoon eye, you know, hey, what are you gonna do? You ain't gonna tell them. That's how you run in the streets. You you take that risk when you go. I mean, granted, they just they don't have the right to beat the fuck out of you. But you know, every once in a while, they maybe rough you up and this and that. But you know, it is what it is. But like I said, back in Pittsburgh, he was a band, a young kid, a young black kid was a, a band, and then like the shit, the media was one of the, and I, when I heard this, I was like, it's fucked up. 
But I haven't gone back to talk about that situation. And that's back in my area. Because I haven't been back there in a minute. So how can I go to Ferguson, which is where I'm sitting. I live in Columbus, Ohio now. Now I live in Ferguson and like that's near St. Louis. That's what? That's one, two, that's about two and a half states. That's basically two. I live in the middle of Ohio. So that's basically one, two, two states away from me. And that's maybe, I'll say a good six, maybe six hours away. Eight tops. When Pittsburgh is no more than like a three hour drive from me. So if I haven't talked about that situation, I haven't discussed that situation. Why am I gonna make my run to Ferguson? Why am I gonna know not? Like I said, I just happened to know somebody who was around the area at the time and they called me up. But how am I gonna go to Ferguson when I didn't talk about this situation that happened in my area, in my home area? So to me, it was more like I did. For me, it was like it was mostly these people trying to do photo ops, trying to get their little glory on, get their little social media thing rolling. You know, a lot of Instagram pictures, a lot of. Well, I was in Ferguson, but what did you do? I mean, yeah, you marched with protests, but at the same time, you marched, got your pictures, looked at me, I selfie on Instagram. Then what happened afterwards? You left and left with the people still in Ferguson having to deal with what they have to deal with. You didn't set nothing up in place to, to help out the people. You just got your little, you know, your old photo op, as I said. Now look, look at all the stars that went down there. Honestly, look at all the stars that went down to Ferguson. How many of them are there today? How many of them will be down there next year? How many of them will be down there a year after that? How many will be down there a year after that? The problem is, is it, it was photo op time. Like I said, I support what's going on down there. There should be, no, like I said, if, 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 if the facts will speak for themselves. Unless it do, less than like, well, we know sometimes the system's dirty, we know how that works out. But I'm not gonna judge the cop, I'm not gonna judge Mike Brown himself. I'm gonna say this, this is the people down there, like I said, sharp, and there's a reason, if you go on YouTube, there's a video on YouTube right now, and it's loaded up by different people, it's where Sharpen got his ass booed in Chicago. Shout out to my Chicago family, by the way. Salute the South Side and the West Side. But uh, Chicago, Sharpen got booed. You want to know why? Because when Sharpen went there, and he, the audience members said it themselves, Sharpen was placing the blame on the guns and this and that. And a lot of people in the audience were like, well, wait, hold up, man. Everybody got guns. They ain't like that. They said the problem was down at City Hall, which the problem was down at City currently is. That's why these people are like like a lot of these young guys are starting to step up finally. Like like you know me too. I'm on a lot. A lot of us are starting to step up because I'm not, I'm not I'm I'm tired of seeing the the, the end of ACP, which FYI that they ain't worth a fuck. Let me tell you this right now. I, I'll tell you now. The end of ACP ain't worth a fuck unless you like like it gets national attention. The Urban League. They ain't they ain't trying to do nothing. They they just they just trying they trying to get their little you know their money. They get their donations, their little foundation money. They trying to make it. They don't make it. They don't take any stances for anything. About the like I said, if people are gonna hate me for saying this, but I will recommend this till till something else, that something better. Let me know. I don't recommend the black church. Ah, the, the, these motherfuckers. The black church. I don't recommend them for nothing. They don't take a stance on anything. They just want to pray and get their money and go out. They're no worse than these photo op vultures down in Ferguson. But the people who I would recommend to have a consistent and are credible is the NOI and 5% and the Hebrew Israelites. You want to know why? Because they both were willing to put work in the streets and they both have uh, accountability factors. They have the credibility and they have consistent ways that they've been living for years. And you, you guys may say, well, you don't like fair this and that. That's your personal opinion. That's your, If you don't like them, you don't like them. But that doesn't take away from what the work that they have done. And like I said, I'm not a Hebrew Israelite myself. I know a couple, and I've seen their work. And for black people, you need to get out, get out of this black church. You can still believe in all that, but the black church ain't doing nothing but like let's hold hands and pray. Meanwhile, your God's telling you God helps those that help themselves. And you, if you guys ain't willing to help yourself, God ain't gonna help you, is he? So it's like a catch point too for you guys. So put another twenty in the donation plate. Let Reverend Lovejoy screw your wives. I'm just to me, I'm just getting fed up with these little vultures. 
But what I really want to do, I really want to make some videos on some folks. But like I said, look at Shark. The Shark went down there. Let me ask you people this. Why in the hell is he giving a eulogy for a kid he didn't know? I thought when you give a eulogy, you do it, you let a loved one give it, and they talk about the virtues and whatever happened to his loved one. You do, Sharpton did it for, it was, it, was a, it, was a, it was a photo op. Now, let me put it this way. If, if a situation like that would happen with me or anybody I know, here's what I would advise them. I said, first of all, if we saw you two vultures come down, you guys got to stand off. You can get your little shine on and do your little dancing, you know. You know, Reverend Jackson, I'll holler for a dollar. You know, you do your little dances, but it's going to be, we're going we're gonna to dictate what happens. We're going to talk about what happens to us. And at the end of the day, we still have to live with this. And no offense, here's some common sense for you folks. How can Jesse Jackson fly around the world and talk about all these problems with black folks? You need to go to Chicago and deal with that shit. That's what you need to do. You need to handle that in Chicago. You need to let one of your little representatives go down to the Ferguson. Like I said, it's a photo op. Think about it. And look, look Reverend Al, no offense. You're from Brooklyn. But it ain't sweet. Like it's starting to act up now. You should be you should be somewhere over in Brownsville or East New York talking to motherfuckers right now. But like I said, think about people, it's photo ops. And like I said, I'm I'm down there thinking that the government's putting these people up to it. So yeah, this is this this is just my opinion on Ferguson.